I've been having the worst luck the past few days. Got caught in the snow on the runway and my flight was delayed and we got trapped right now for about 10 minutes, but it's okay. It's a new day, adventure starts today. Right now I'm low key running because my flight takes off a little bit and we're delayed. Okay, we got this. I am not missing my flight to Rome. So my life dream to go. Been once, but on a cruise ship for a couple of hours. <laughs> Sitting in the van the whole time. Technically doesn't count, so I'm coming back for you. Thank God my next flight is delayed, otherwise I think I would not be on this flight right now. This last flight right now, hands down. One of the scariest of my life. It was those two little propeller jet planes since it was only an hour and it was snowing a little bit and it was really cloudy and serious everyone thought we were gonna die but i survived i made it okay i can chill now for a sec it's now 138 the original flight was supposed to take off 145 and they haven't even boarded yet so perfect <laughs> Finally made it to my Airbnb. Um, going out for food now, finally. I've barely been able to eat the last three days from feeling so sick, so I'm about to go ham. I'm about to die <laughs> to this bomb ass Italian food. Finally get some lemon soda. Mm. On a good note, my tripod broke but it's okay because it's replaceable and I won't let that stop me. Um, yeah, it's a really cool Airbnb. If you guys are ever in Rome or Tastevere and you're more of like a young traveler on your own or you know, wanna meet new people, instead of like going to like a hostel, um, I'm staying in this one place. Um, it's like a community house and it's really awesome. Okay, so. First full day in Rome. I'm really excited. Uh, I'm so hungry. Finally, my appetite came back. Finally, so nice and sunny out. Yesterday it was so cold, and I'm feeling so fresh with my white new Converse from Metzingen. There's so much. Um, I don't even know what it's called. Whatever this is called dust, pollen, fluffy things falling from all of the trees and it gets in your eyes. Maybe I should buy goggles. No, let's do the mouse. But I am staying in Trastevere, which is um, south of the river. So right now I'm walking north so I can get some food and just to see some other stuff. Later tonight I have a social with some local Italian. Well, it's only been a few minutes. I'm walking outside and I already almost got hit by a scooter. Warning if you're coming, if you're crossing a street by a hill and you don't hear anything coming, still look because the guy was cruising all the fluff. Ooh. Just kidding. But yeah, the guy was just cruising down the hill really fast. Hide your kids, hide your wife, because nobody's safe. I'm so proud of myself, guys. I just asked an Italian where the BNL bank is without looking it up. Thank you, Spanish. Well, also because I tried learning Italian on a app, but those are okay for a little bit.
There are a lot, okay, not right now, but there were a lot more cars a few minutes ago when I tried crossing this huge roundabout. And you just gotta jaywalk your way through the city, otherwise you get nowhere in life. And this is my kind of city because if you know me, I'm the jaywalking queen. I hate waiting at red lights to cross so I always thought it was a myth in America and that people would tell me this just so that I wouldn't do it but it's not a myth it's the real thing in San Francisco I feel like the police have a lot more to worry about so they you know they don't bother with it they don't stop you they never have stopped me or anything before and I go to San Diego State University my freshman year of college I'm walking home from a hookah place with a friend and it's about one in the morning it wasn't like the best area so of course like I'm waiting on this huge boulevard one in the morning it's dark it's cold and there's creepy people. So I decided to cross the street because there were no cars coming in our direction. So I'm crossing and the, light, the left turn arrow changes green while I'm crossing, so I stop in the middle island. One police patrol car goes straight. The other turns in front of me, nothing. Tell me why it's the big SUV for my small ass that pulls into the gas station. They come out of the car as I'm coming to the corner when I'm finished crossing. They pull out the flashlight and they ask me, have you been drinking tonight? And I was like, no, I honestly haven't. And I really wasn't drinking that night. I just jaywalk, that's just what I do. And he starts writing down my information, everything, asks for my school ID. I thought it was just a warning, but no. Um, I got smacked with a ticket for not $20, not $50, but $200 for crossing the street. And as he's writing my ticket, I hear some screaming. So I turn around and look past him. And there's this group of about eight sorority girls, all clearly underage, all clearly smashed, smashed. And we both look at them and I laugh. I'm like, do you see this? And he laughs a little bit and he says, yeah, well, we got you first. That could have been thousands of dollars for them right there. And I just hate sorority girls, so... Why me? <laughs> right? So let's finish these steps. <laughs> Definitely my workout for the day, even though I am walking around all day until Selena gets out of class around 3 or 4 then the fun really begins stuff 
you find when you wander into random streets and alleys. The best way to explore. I just found the Fontana di Trevi without even trying. I just ran into it. I'm actually really juiced. When I came here last, it was closed for renovation. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. This is so awesome. I'm like, I wonder if I toss a coin in if Paolo will come out of nowhere. Like, come on, I'm trying to live the Lizzie McGuire dream right now. I'll be a believer in the magic. Tell me think of something. You ready? Okay. Oh. Considering how many people come here and throw coins, it's so empty, like there's barely any coins on the bottom. Whoever collects those coins must be so rich. Of course, this is what I run into. I don't know what's going on today, but I found the Pantheon, guys. It's kind of cute with the red balloons. My only problem is my jeans are so ripped. I don't feel right going into any of these religious places. So I'll go another day. Today I'm just walking around, killing time. Just trying to see where everything is. And it's so beautiful here, oh my gosh. I love it. <laughs> A car for when you're asexual as fuck. 